Hi everyone. So the purpose of this tutorial is to get you started using FRED. So what's FRED? FRED is short for Federal Reserve Economic Data. It's created and maintained by the Research Department at the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. So it's an online database consisting of hundreds of thousands of economic data time series from scores of national, international, public, and private sources. And actually it goes far beyond simply providing data. It allows the user to combine data with a powerful mix of tools that help you understand, interact with, and disseminate data. In this tutorial, first I'll show you how to create your own FRED account. Then I'll show you the basic usage of FRED through two examples. The first one will contain only one data series. The second example will have multiple series on the same graph and will make use of more interesting functionalities available on FRETs. Okay, so let's get started by creating your account. First of all, you don't have to register in order to use FRED. However, registering enables you to save, create dash dashboards, data lists, update preferences, and so on. We're gonna we're going to use FRED extensively in this course, so please follow these simple steps to create your FRED account. Okay, the first step is to go to fred.sentleys.org. And then on the upper right corner, click on My Account. And then select create new account in the pop-up window enter your preferably union email choose a password and choose this and then create account your account is created and you will receive a confirmation email i already have an account so i'm just going to sign in my existing account <clears throat> so in the first example we will look at the performance of the u.s economy since world war ii by plotting the u.s real gdp first we need to locate the data on fred you can either search using a keyword which would be real gdp in this case or you can use this category category attack in general this this one using the category tag is safer because there you see all the relevant series together so that you can pick the right one i'm gonna use this option so i choose category to find annual real gdp i scroll down to national accounts and then I choose national income and product accounts, then GDP and GNP. Now I have real gross domestic product. Here I'm going to choose billions of chain 2012 quarter seasonally adjusted annual rate. By the way, if you haven't heard of before, seasonal adjustment is a statistical technique that attempts to measure and remove the influences of predictable seasonal patterns during the year due to changes, for example, in weather, harvest, major holidays, and school schedules. So these seasonal adjustments make it easier to observe the cyclical underlying trend and other non-seasonal moments in the series. So. When I click on this series, it's gonna graph the series automatically. So that's the default action. And let's see what we got here. So this is the last observation. And, the, and it comes the last quarter of 2019. But here, if we click on this plus more we can see the most recent five observations 
and then here we have some units information billions of chain 2012 dollars which means all this like the only 2012 prices have been used to evaluate the, the value of products and services in all other years and seasonally adjusted as you mentioned frequencies quarterly and here we can conveniently focus on the most recent year the, the the last five or ten years if you have a more specific date range you can specify it here well what else we can do on this page we well we can download the data used in the graph in one of these formats excel csv or we can download the image of the graph or as a powerpoint graph or pdf and then we can modify the graph both in terms of how it looks and more importantly what kind of information we would like to display on the graph we're going to come back to this later at the bottom we can share the specific url associated with this graph so anyone with this link will see the same graphic output and then we can save this if we already have a Fred account now I can save to one of the existing folders or I can create a new one I'm gonna create a new folder called Fred demo and I'm gonna name this graph real GDP level and then choose this save graph okay let's go to the main page and let's check that my graph is there for that I go to my content and then graphs demo real GDP it's here so now let's see how we can modify this graph further to make it more informative first of all these gray bars denote recessions we know that output namely GDP drops during recession but it's not very clear from this graph except the most recent recession here is clear but for the rest it's not that clear and this is because of the scale of the y-axis it's huge so that we don't really see down like the drops in real GDP in order to make these fluctuations more visible I'm gonna modify the graph for that I click on edit graph and instead of billions of chain 2012 dollars I'm gonna use percent change note that the graph updates immediately so and here it is clear that during the recession output falls dramatically so this is the most recent recession and this is the beginning of the 2012 2000 recession.com uh, recession and so this is 1990 recession etc so in this format it's clear that during the recession up drops now I'm gonna change the appearance of the graph with available formatting options so for that for the appearance I go to format here I can modify the graph type with height I can put the graph on log scale 
here I can specify color of graph frame plot and text uh, here I can specify whether I want title or not so for this one I'm just gonna change the graph frame the, the color of the frame I think this is better uh, so and below we have some more options for the appearance of the line depicted so these are especially useful when we have more than one series on the graph as we will see in the next example here actually I don't have a good reason to use any of these options so I'm just gonna leave as is. so I'm done with this modified graph let's go and save it again So you'll see this will override your saved graph real GDP level. No, I don't want to override the existing graph. I want to save as a new graph. And I'm going to give an, another name real GDP percent. And I'm going to save it to the folder that I've just generally created. Okay, so let's go again to the home page and double check that both graphs are there. So both of them are here. And this concludes the first example. The second demonstration exemplifies a slightly more sophisticated use of FRAT functionalities. It involves multiple series and creates a custom formula to transform existing series. Some background information for this example. Recall that macroconists inspect data to see if there are regularities. And if there are some more or less regular patterns, they try to come up with mechanisms that can generate similar patterns. So when we look at the share of consumption expenditures in GDP is pretty stable around 65% and it doesn't really respond very strongly to the business cycle. On the other hand, the share of investment expenditures in GDP is between 13 and 15% and more importantly, it fluctuates a lot over the business cycle. So with this background information, we're going to try to prove these two statements visually using FRAT functionalities. First, let's plot the share of consumption expenditures in GDP. For this, we get real personal consumption so the first option that we that, that pops up is monthly I don't want to work with monthly data so I want to work with quarterly seasonally adjusted annual data quarterly seasonally adjusted annual data so this is the one that I would like to work with then I need to bring real GDP data. For that, I use edit graph. So this one is line one. Now I need to bring real GDP. For that, I use this add option. So it's going to pop up here. We will call this domestic product and I add this series to here and then as you see Fred automatically named this for the first series as A and the second series as B now how we can compute the share of consumption expenditures in GDP in terms of these two names A and B 
what I'm interested in actually just a over b times hundreds. If we scroll, we see that there's a formula option at the bottom. Here I can simply say a over b times hundreds and then click apply. We're done. Now this is the share of consumption expenditures. Now let's plot the share of investment in GDP. Since this is going to be another line on the same plots, say edit graph and here I choose add line because this one is line one but I need another one for the share of investment in GDP. So I say add line and here let's start with investment data, real investment. Let's see this, whether this is the right one. Real gross private domestic investment, quarterly billions of $2012, seasonally adjusted annual rate. This looks that looks correct and you have to say add data series and automatically it becomes series A and again I need real GDP to take the ratio of the first one to the second one quarter the billions of 2012 dollars and just annual rate that looks correct okay now say add I have gross power domestic investments, real GDP, A, B, I need to compute again A over B times 100. I apply and this is my second, second series. So this is the share of investment in real GDP, the share of consumption in real GDP. So now we have obtained the consumption and investment shares on the same graph. So the graph confirms that the consumption share is around 65% on average and relatively stable, whereas the investment share is much smaller and less stable here. There's some trend. However, it is really hard to see how these two series vary over the business cycle. So in order to see how they behave over the business cycle, I'm gonna go to edit graph again. And at the bottom, the unit section here, I'm gonna change it to percent change. I'm gonna do the same thing for the second series. Now, this one clearly shows that, that the, invest, the share of investment responds very strongly to recessions and expansions. On the other hand, the response of the consumption share is not that strong. By the way, it wouldn't be correct to compare the fluctuations in investment share and the consumption share because consumption make up the, the big chunk of the real GDP, therefore mathematically it's the fluctuation in the share of consumption is going to be much less than the share of investments. Okay, and that ends our second example. Okay, if you would like to learn more about what you can do with FRET, please go to get help and scroll to data, choose data, graph, or you can learn more about the account, frequently ask questions, etc. Okay, and this concludes this tutorial.